Hello my stitchy friends, how are you? My name is Tracy and I am OG Stitchery here on YouTube and on Instagram and welcome to floss tube number 51. It is Wednesday, September 14th, 2022. And hello, I am back. Um, last week I went on a cruise with my husband and uh, we went to Norway um, out of Dover, England and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, hopefully I'll be able to um, show you a couple of pictures. I didn't really take a lot of pictures this time, um, mainly because I was just in the moment. I wanted to enjoy the scenery and I know that it is so difficult to capture what you what you see in a photograph. And um, I don't know, I just uh, just wanted to be there, you know, and not have to worry about carrying around a phone or taking pictures everywhere I went. And so, um, so yeah, this is the first vacation that I've done that. I haven't, I didn't take a lot of pictures, um, but I enjoyed myself very much. My husband and I had a great time and, um, we met a cup, um, two other couples that, um, Turns out at the end of the cruise, they were, they became really good friends. And, um, so that was exciting and, um, it was a fairly uneventful cruise except for the last day when we got off the ship and got onto our, um, shuttle. We were heading back to Heathrow airport. Um, when we land or when we got to Heathrow, um, the bus was pulling in and as um, pulling in to to unload us and it's one of those double decker buses so um, it was really tall and the bus driver didn't see the awning that was hanging over and he ran right into it um, glass completely shattered all over the place um, I have a picture of it um, here and Luckily, I was not involved. My husband wasn't um, close to it at all. We were um, probably about four rows, three or four rows behind. Um, and then there was a stairwell that led down um, in, in front of us. So um, we, we didn't get any of the uh, shards of glass. But um, the four people that were sitting right there in front, um, they were cut up. Um, there were scratches and um, things because the the glass shattered and of course it shattered all on them and they just got dumped and then when they got up they were trying to brush themselves and that's when they got um, cut but uh, that was the only damage or the only injuries um, luckily but uh, it shook them up pretty bad and it was um, it was crazy so anyway um, vacation was great um and i'm looking forward to the next vacation in january um where we do another disney cruise um, out of san diego to um mexico we go to ensenada and cabo san lucas so that's exciting all right so anyway that's it um i wanted to say thank you so much for um, my returning viewers um if you are a returning viewer you're a subscriber thank you so much and if you are new here welcome hello um, please consider subscribing and telling your friends and hopefully you'll enjoy what you see it's going to be a fairly short um, update I only worked on one project while I was gone I brought three but I ended up only working on one um, just because it was fun it was easy to see and um, yeah, so that was it. Um, I don't have any acquisitions. Um, nothing has come in. So, uh, but I do anticipate a few things coming in next week, maybe, hopefully. Um, so that brings me to whips. Um, like I said, I only had one. However, that was turned into a finish. Um, but I did work on something else, and that is Blooming Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. And here it is. 
and I'm stitching this on uh, 18 count Jody fabric and here's my progress really cute and I'm really enjoying um, the way the colors come out against the pink fabric um, because like I mentioned last time some of these are actually brown uh, thread and uh, brown floss but they look green up against the, the bright pink fabric so but I'm really enjoying this however it's going to be put away for a little while and I'll talk about that in plants. Um, so the next um, section is finishes uh, or FFOs. I don't have an FFO, but I do have a finish. And that was my whip, my main whip for the for this past week. And it's also a new start. So you have not seen this. Um, I started this on tip, September 1st, which was after I filmed last. And what I'm talking about is Autumn Typography by Pine Mountain. It's really cute, and I figured that it was going to be a quick stitch. Um, it, it is kind of big, but, um, but I did it on 18 count um, Ivory Ada, so it wasn't that big. And here is my finish. I really, really like it. I like it so much. It's just fun, fantastic. Um, I was stitching this on the cruise, um, sometimes in my room, in, in the cabin, but then for, for the most part, I was out and about. I was actually on deck four, no, three. I was on deck three in what they call the promenade lounge. So it's like the main lounge. And I was in an area um, towards the end of the lounge they had this desk set up um, that used to be um, the internet um, desk, help desk, that's what it was. <laughs> so I had a, a desk set up and I had one of the little chairs that they use um, or that they have. I pulled it over behind the desk and I had a pillow behind me um, that I could sit back and relax and um, I had my lap desk or my lap stand set up on the desk and I had my threads and everything and I was just going to town and it was really a lot of fun because I, it, it it garnered a lot of attention so when people because because it was a main thoroughfare um, on deck three so a lot of people would stop and um, you know ask about it oh, oh what are you doing what are you making and of course I would turn it around and I would show them and <clears throat> I would show them the pattern and um, there were several comments saying, oh, I used to do that, or, oh, my mother used to do that, or my grandmother used to do that, or my grandmother still does that, or, you know, things like that. And um, so the, it was just a, a great conversation starter, and um, I really enjoyed the attention, of course, and it was just a lot of fun, and I got a finish out of it, although I did not finish it on the ship. I ended up finishing it at the airport at Heathrow um, because when we got to the airport, we knew that we were going to have a long stay at the airport because we had to get off the ship by 11. So we were actually off the ship by 9, 9, 9, 15 or something like that. We got on the shuttle and then headed to the airport. So we were at the airport by noon and our flight didn't leave until 530. So we just set up. Um, and chairs and I just started stitching and and uh, so I finished it and I love it it's just great can't wait to fully finish it I have no idea what I'm doing with it but um, I think it's great so there we go there's my finish all right so that brings me to plans um, Plans, I don't really have a lot uh, because I am gearing up for October. October is going to be really busy for me because um, I am doing October Start a Ton again. And I'll go into that probably next week. I'll, I'll give you some details on that for next week. Um, 
and then I'm just going to finish up my September whip go goals, um, or at least start them because I haven't started them yet. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think that's about it and stay tuned for, you know, what's coming up next. <laughs> this just in, but not really because, you know, it's history. <clears throat> During the week of September 5th through September 11th, September 5th, 1976, The Muppet Show debuted on television. September 6th, 1995, Cal Ripken Jr. played his 2,131st consecutive game, surpassing Lou Gehrig's record, which had stood for more than 56 years. In 1991, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania gained independence from the Soviet Union. September 7th, 1979, ESPN debuted on television. 1963, the Pro Football Hall of Fame opened in Canton, Ohio. In 1921, the first Miss America pageant was held in Atlantic City, New Jersey. In 1876, the Younger Brothers, often allied with Jesse James, were captured following a, an unsuccessful bank robbery. And in 1822, Brazil gained independence. On September 8th, 2022, Queen Elizabeth II died. <sighs> 1966, Star Trek debuted on television. In 1960, the movie Psycho was released in American theaters. In 1930, 3M, an American company, began selling a transparent adhesive tape, later to be known as Scotch tape. In 1504, Michelangelo's The David was unveiled in Florence. And in 1429, Paris was attacked by Joan of Arc and her supporters. On September the 9th, 2015, Elizabeth II became the longest reigning monarch in British history, surpassing Queen Victoria's reign of 63 years and 216 days. In 1956, Elvis made his debut on The Ed Sullivan Show. And in 1861, Sally Louisa Tompkins was commissioned a cavalry, cavalry captain, and she is the only woman to be commissioned in the Confederate Army. On September the 10th, 2008, the Large Hadron Collider conducted, conducted its first test operations. In 1993, the X-Files debuted on television. In 1984, Alex Trebek debuted as the host of Jeopardy. In 1955, Gunsmoke debuted on television. In 1919, the Treaty of St. Germain was signed, ending World War I. And in 1608, John Smith became the president of the Jamestown Colony, John Smith of Pocahontas fame, infamy, I don't know. And on September 11th, 2001, the World Trade Center in New York City and the Pentagon were attacked. In 1967, The Carol Burnett Show debuted. And in 1941, construction began on the Pentagon. the week of September the 12th through September the 18th. September 12th, 1992, astronaut Mae Jemison became the first African-American woman 
to fly in space. In 1959, Bonanza debuted on television. Also in 1959, the Soviet Union launched Luna 2, the first space probe to hit the moon. In 1940, in Montignac, France, four teenage boys found the Lassau Cave, which contains one of the most outstanding displays of prehistoric art ever discovered. September 13th, in 1990, Law and Order debuted on television. September 14th, 1985, The Golden Girls debuted on television. And in 1814, Francis Scott Key was inspired to write The Star Spangled Banner after Fort McHenry withstood British attacks. September 15th, 1821, Central America gained independence from Spain. In 1984, Prince Harry was born. In 1949, The Lone Ranger debuted on television. And in 1916, the tank was used for the first time in combat. September 15th, 1993, Frasier debuted on television. In 1975, Papua New Guinea gained independence from Australia. And in 1620, the Mayflower set sail for America. September 17th, 2011, the first Occupy Wall Street protest was held. In 1978, the Camp David Accords were completed, leading to a peace treaty between Egypt and Israel. In 1972, MASH debuted on TV. In 1862, the Battle of Antietam halted the Confederate advance on Maryland. In 1849, Harriet Tubman escaped from slavery and later led other enslaved people to freedom along the route of the Underground Railroad. And in 1787, the U.S. Constitution was signed. And that was your moment in history. Thank you. Yay! I hope you guys like that. I really enjoy doing the research on it and um, learning what happens you know, throughout the week and um, just a little bit of, you know, little snippets of, of what has happened in the past. Um, I do want to, um, want to, you know, acknowledge September 11th, um, very sad day, uh, but um, yeah, that happened. And then of course, um, September 8th, uh, which actually is my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Um, the Queen Elizabeth II passed away. Uh, we were obviously at, at sea or on the ship at the time, and um, that's how we found out. And so it was uh, it's crazy. Um, it's very strange to think of Charles as King Charles III. Having, having a difficulty comprehending that, processing that, processing. Anyway, <clears throat> not that it matters to me much. And, you know, it's just something that happened in the world. So anyway, uh, I'm done rambling. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I know it's a short one, but um, sometimes those things happen. Maybe I'll have something longer next week. We'll see. But uh, thank you for watching, and please come back next week. Um, and until then, I'll see you soon.